Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show how to add a loading spinner for buttons using jQuery. Normally, uh, we use uh, a loading spinner to indicate uh, the user that something happening in the front end so that user will know the feedback of the action that he is making. For this, I have a button here. I am going to add a new icon, the spinner icon that will be shown near the fetching button. For this, I am going to use a Phantasm library. So let me add the Phantasm spinner icon. let's check if this is showing up yeah so now uh, the phantasm uh, icon is actually showing it's a spinner if you add fa spin the icon will spin so now by default uh, this spinner should be in hidden mode so that in the normal state of uh, the spinner should be in hidden mode also i'm going to add a class called hide which actually uh, hides this loader So now after uh, when user clicks on this, I will actually enable this uh, loading spinner by actually adding or uh, removing this uh, height class from that particular icon. So let me add an on click uh, event listener for this button and on that uh, listener I will add a few attributes and I will remove this uh, class so that the spinner will be visible for the user. The later part of this tutorial, I'm also going to add a real uh, API call for you guys to understand how this works in the real world. So first, let me uh, remove the class when immediately when a user clicks on this button. For this, uh, we can use uh, remove class attribute uh, in jQuery. Okay, the icon is loading iPhone icon. Okay, let's check this. So I click on that. Okay, it's now the icon is showing. Now we just need to disable this button so that our user cannot click this twice so that uh, the server call will be made twice so basically we will add an attribute disabled attribute to this button this will actually prevent our user from clicking twice Now I'm also going to change the button text with something like uh, fetching data from server so that user can understand uh, clearly what's going on. Normally we put uh, loading text inside a button when it's actually in loading state. So let's check this. So I'm going to click on the button. Now the button is disabled and uh, okay, the text is not changing. That's because okay, the class name is wrong. It should be dot button. Okay. So let's check again. Okay. Now loading spinner appears. The button is button is disabled and the text is changing to fashion now in real world scenario for me uh, i will again make it to the previous state by actually adding a timeout function so when a user clicks on the button in three seconds i will actually uh, remove that mocking an api call so the same functions i'm going to add a class hide 
and then I need to remove this disable attribute and then I will change the text back to fetch data from server so instead of remove class I'll just use add class from jQuery and then instead of disable true I'll make it as disable false and then change the text back to fetch data from server and the timeout was 3 seconds ok let's check again now I click on that the loading state appears in 3 seconds it goes back to the previous state the original state so now this logic works now I'm just going to show you how to actually yeah, add a AP call here for this I'm going to use JSON placeholder it's a fake API where it will return all the users for example I'm using a post API it will return some post as a JSON so once the response comes in I'm actually printing that response for you to view in the uh, DOM so it's straightforward so I'm just clearing uh, the result So let's check this now when I click on this it will fetch an API from json placeholder.ipcode.com and it will uh, display the result okay now it's actual API is happening in the back again, background so now I click again it fetches the data again and it displays it over there normally this kind of loading spinners you can add it for buttons or for example the login button when Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.